Hello, this is a Glogster tutorial for adding media to your Glog. Glogster is a poster creation tool that allows students to combine text, pictures, graphics, video, and audio into an interactive online poster. You use it to create a Glog, which is basically the same as an online poster web page. In this video, you will learn how to add images, text, videos, and sound to your Glog. An interactive Glog is a wonderful way for you to share your knowledge and can be used for many different subjects. Glogs can be used for book reports, math, science, social studies, language arts, poetry, and response to intervention present presentations. You can create a Glog by yourself or with a classmate. Videos can be added as well as podcasts. Your final Glogs will be kept on Glogster, embedded onto your Moodle, a wiki, SchoolTube, or any other website. The Glogs that you create can be shared with your family and friends across the globe. This tutorial will help you understand how to add media to your Glog. This is my sample Glog, one of my sample Glogs about Earth Science. Down here at the bottom, I have a copyright Glog that you could look at that would be very helpful to you to learn about what you can and cannot put on your Glog. I have some other really nice Glogs that you can look at for some ideas. Uh, down here at the bottom I have a Dr. Seuss Glog. Takes a few moments to open. And some of these have some links as well. I'm going to go back up to the top. If you need help logging on, you can watch this tutorial to help you out. And this tutorial is uh, for helping you out to log on to Glogster for the first time. The next thing we're going to do is go to this pink banner in the middle of the screen and click create a new Glog. The next thing we need to do is go to the very top and name it. So we're going to call this sample tutorial Glog. This is the workspace in which you will create your Glog. You're going to use this black toolbox to make your Glogster creative. You will be able to add images, text, videos, and sound. There are some other tools in this box as well to help you add other graphics to your Glog. You should begin by creating a glog wall for your background. This is the glog wall right here. And we're going to go ahead to the wall and choose something creative for our wall. I like these clouds. I'm going to use it. Now I'm going to click the box to close the design box. You can remove anything that you don't want to have. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in the trash. See if there's anything else left here. Nope, we have it all to ourselves here. Some helpful hints while creating your blog is you'll need to know how to get your pictures from a folder. You'll need to add uh, frames to go around your images and videos. And then add video, sound, and images. Remember, all of these need to be yours or from the public domain. And I have some ideas. This is a classroom clip art public domain site you could use. And this one is great for Creative Commons uh, videos. It's a great site. I'm going to go back to our blog. And we're going to go ahead and we are going to go ahead and we're going to add some text. But before I add text, I want to add something to put it in. So I'm going to choose this one and go use it. 
So I'm going to use this player. I'm waiting for that to come up. And there it goes. And I'm going to move that up. I'm going to go ahead and hit Edit. And when I click the Edit button, I can go ahead and delete what's in there and I can say my sample blog, which is what we're creating here. And then I can go OK, and I like that. If I want to add an image, I click the image here. And I have some images of my own here. So I'm going to go ahead and put a picture of me. And I can click this button to add a frame to make it look more creative. I don't like any of those. This one with the eyes is kind of cute. I'm going to use that one. And then I'm going to go ahead and close that. Oh, it's way too big. So I'm going to go ahead and bring in the sides and make it a little bit smaller. And my sample title is a little too small, so I'm going to make that a little bit bigger. Very good. Now I can add a video as well if I'd like. I've got a video here about dinosaurs, so I'm going to go ahead and grab that and use it and add a player. So I can put a little uh, cute frame around it. This one's nice. I'm going to choose use it and I'm going to hit the X button to close it. Well, it's a little bit too big, so I'm going to go ahead and make it a little bit smaller and move it down here and rearrange my things, my boxes here. And um, when I'm done with this, I could go ahead and choose to publish it. And that would be right here. And I have a name already. And I can go ahead and hit Save. And then it will save that for me. I can go ahead and continue editing view this vlog or go back to the dashboard. I'm going to go ahead and view this vlog so we can take a look at what it looks like. Very nice. If I click this, it will turn on the movie. Once you have some more experience at making vlogs, you could add hyperlinks to web pages and other great graphics that you happen to find. The more vlogs you make, the better you are going to be at this. Be sure that you save your work every time you add something new in order not to lose it. My next tutorial will be on how to embed your vlog onto Moodle or another site that you would like. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. Goodbye.